Hello, good day. In this tutorial video, you will learn about the conic section in the generate cases and introduction. Suppose we have vertical line and another line intersecting this vertical line through this point. Now, suppose this line is rotated in such a way that it forms two cones. This figure is called double nap right circular cone. Whenever we have this figure, this line will be called the axis. This point is called the vertex. These two distinct lines on the cone are called the generators of the cone. And these two circles on the cone are called the bases and this part of the cone is called the lower nap and this part is what we call the upper nap let's proceed to the conic section suppose we have a plane which is parallel to the bases of the two cones observe the figure form as this plane moves through the two cones Now, observe that as the plane, which is parallel to the base of the cone, passes through the cones, we have circle. How about when we have a cutting plane, which is not parallel to the base of the cone, and it does not pass through the bases of the both cones? Observe the figure being formed. Now, we have observed that when the cutting plane is not parallel to the basis of the cone and does not pass through, to, through it, the figure form is what we call an ellipse. When the plane cuts only one nap of the cone and it passes through the base of that cone, observe what figure is being formed. Now we have observed that when the plane, this plane cuts only one nap of the cone and it passes through the base, the figure being formed is what we call a parabola. Lastly, when the plane cuts both nap of the two cones and it passes also through the bases of the two cones, observe the figure being formed. Now we have observed that when the plane cuts both nap of the two cones and it passes through the bases, then this figure being formed is what we call a hyperbola. To summarize, the four conic sections are ellipse, circle, parabola, and hyperbola. Circle is a special type of an ellipse.
Now let's proceed to the generate cases. Observe when the cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone and passes exactly at the vertex of the two cone. The figure being formed is just a point. Next, when the cutting plane is parallel to the generator of the cone and it passes through the vertex of the two cones, then the figure being formed is a line. Lastly, when the plane cuts both nap of the cones and passes through the vertex, then we'll be having two intersecting lines. Here is the summary of the generate cases and the generate cases. We have a circle when the path cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone. Then we have an ellipse when the cutting plane is not parallel to the base of the cone and does not pass through the base. We have also parabola when the plane cuts only one nap of the cone and passes through the base. And we have para hyperbola when the plane cuts both nap of the two cones and passes through the bases. For the degenerate cases, we have a point when the cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone and passes exactly at the vertex of the two cones. We have line when the cutting plane is parallel to the generator of the cone and passes through the vertex. And we have an intersecting line when the plane cuts both nap of the two cones and passes through the vertex. Thank you for listening.